you're down 10 at halftime and you pull it out, you outscore them by 13 in the second half. What changed? I would say our mindset. We knew we were down and we had to um, fight back. Uh, we were patient and we played better as a team. What kinds of things did you all talk about at halftime or what adjustments did you try to make? I honestly don't think there were a lot of adjustments made other than communicating more on defense. But um, like Coach said earlier in the locker room, we've been held more accountable in practices lately, so we've been running a lot. And so I think our endurance is better. We're able to hang on longer and other teams get tired, whereas we don't as much. Did I walk in and you say y'all been running? Been running. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but it paid off, so it's okay. It's a good note. <laughs> What else they said about them? All right, I'll ask you. What did you talk? What were you, adjustments did you try to drop at halftime? They said there weren't a whole lot of adjustments made. A lot of verbal cues, motivation, verbal motivation. I was just trying to get them to go to the next level. Uh, if, if you notice, if you watch this particular game, we had something that has been missing in the previous games. And it was the energy, it was the focus, it was the commitment. Uh, and that's all the staff has been wanting for these young ladies to, to show up with now. It was ignited, it was injected in our team. It started with Kiara Perry at the beginning of the, the game. She, she carried us in the, in the first half with her energy. Uh, we had our, our babies grow up tonight, uh, Morgan and uh, Ari and, and, and Janasia. And then Mackenzie did what Mackenzie did in the second half. She came on and, and she made the basket that she didn't, wasn't making in the first half. Uh, and it made everybody relax. Kiara continued with her energy, getting those balls, grabbing rebounds. Uh, and I think that was the difference in the game. All right. The energy and intensity that your coach talks about. Did you do anything different in your pregame? Or where did that come from today? <laughs> I didn't do anything different. I, it was just a more sense of urgency. With the way like our season's been going, we knew um, we had to protect home court, and everybody was really excited about playing at home. So I just came out with a little extra boost, I guess. Loyola Marymount had a guard number 32 came out and hit three threes in the first couple of minutes, and then she went over eight the rest of the way. What did you all change defensively, or was it just her shots stopped falling? I I don't think we changed anything. Uh, defensively, we just started doing what we should have been doing. Uh, we was moving on the flight of the ball, I would say. We was getting there just a little bit quicker. Um, and I think that was the difference. I think she was comfortable with the amount of time and the space that she had in order to shoot it. Um, if I kind of flipped that and reversed that and compared that to McKenzie, I thought McKenzie was shooting hers just a, one tick a little bit too quick uh, because the defense was getting her space. But we mentioned that at halftime that she has to expect that. Uh, now use that one, two dribble pull up, and then you know now you have two options, and they have to decide whether they want to take away one or two. But you can't shoot one over the top and stretch their hands. We didn't do anything different. In the previous three games, you guys had I think 47 was the most points you had, and the two of you almost matched that by yourselves today. Thank you. Was, <laughs> was there something with the offense that was clicking, or was it? That was different, or was it, like Coach said, just the intensity, the energy that was higher than it had been, maybe? Well, we've been in the gym a lot lately, a lot, and it's good to finally see it paying off because we've been getting a whole lot of shots up. But also, I think, kind of like Coach said, we started sharing the ball, moving it more, took the pressure off of us, and then we got wide open shots. Is there any more gratification in, in a win like this when – you were down 12, you were down 10 at halftime, and the fact that you had to fight back rather than maybe leading from start to finish? From a coach's perspective, absolutely. Uh, I, I don't think they, you never want to be down, but what it showed me, it showed me something in this team that I told you we hadn't seen. Uh, we fought hard against Oklahoma and a few other teams that we played, but those are more victims because we didn't get the win. Uh, we fought to the bitter end because uh, Loyola came in here expecting to win. The Loyola played the game that I talked to, the, to, to these young ladies about. Uh, that's how they were going to come in here and play, feeling that they were going to play for 40 minutes. And it took 40 minutes for us to win that game, was that right? Yes. Uh, because they played hard, they played together, have two bona fide scores on their team. Uh, I was just glad, glad to see that we didn't have any mental letdown when uh, we were 
was really going down the stretch. Along the same lines, any any extra satisfaction, I guess, that your four bigs combined for nine points and you still beat a team that came in with an eight and two record? Yes. I, for me, <laughs> it's because I see total team. And, and when our team, when these collective group of young ladies, when these players see that it requires the entire team, we can see those efforts come from anyone. Uh, it can be the guards leaders one night, it can be the post leaders one night, it can be the freshmen, it can be the seniors, it doesn't matter. But the strength of this team is in the team. And for me that makes me, that I get that extra because now it gives me something to relay another message to them about, okay, here's some proof. Because if they don't see the proof, I don't know if it, the message gets across sometimes. <laughs> You mentioned the younger players growing up a little bit. You got 18 minutes tonight from Morgan, which I'm guessing is a season high. Yes. What have you seen from her lately that made you decide she deserves a little more time on the floor? Well, sense of urgency. Uh, the thing is, I, I, right now as a coach, and I didn't mention this to the players, but I was really hunting for who wanted to give me the minutes doing what we was asking and, and do that with a sense of urgency at a high level. Morgan came out and I called a play. <laughs> Morgan broke the play and went to the basket and scored the basket. I said, okay, okay. So I, I see some confidence there. <coughs> to me, that's a freshman not knowing really what to do, but she's doing what she, she can do and, and being successful at it. So right at that moment, I said, okay, I see some confidence. Then she came down, she shot another shot. Then y'all saw how, how confident she was in the transition when she pulled up a shot to three. Right? I love it, I love it. <laughs> Obviously, your competitors, you want to win every time you go on the floor, but how much did you need this win considering you've had a couple of very close games that got away from you? And just going forward for confidence and optimism going into conference uh, part of the season, how much did you need today's win? It was a must, for sure. As, like I said earlier, we've been running, we've been putting in the effort, and it's just it's good to finally see it pay off. Yeah. Um, but also, like she said, protecting home court is like our thing. That's that's what we key in on, and so I think that's important always, but we definitely needed this one. 48 hours to turn around and bounce back with McNeese on Friday. Anything you want to try to <coughs> clean up or tweak between now and then? I, I, want, I want to ride the wave. Uh, tonight, <laughs> I, want, I, want, I, want to, I want to ride it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to shove the scouting reports in their hand because we're done with them. Before they leave here, they're going to get the scout on McNeese. They're going to uh, review it tonight. And I think they better know what's on it tomorrow because I might quiz them. So, so we're going to come into practice and do as much as we can do without beating them up uh, and having them prepared. The, the, the lucky thing about, I think, McNeese is very similar to this team from what I've seen so far. I'm going to watch them on film here shortly. And uh, like you say, 48 hours, we've got to come back and do it again. I want a good Christmas break. I don't, want to, I don't want to think about a loss the whole time during Christmas. Anything else? Thanks, guys. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.